presentation uh, today we're going to be presenting about our team Delta Robotics 6 and our experience in co-space robotics comp robotic competitions and all that kind of good stuff all right about Delta Robotics 6 team members one Satya Udama Pinandida Artiansha that's me I'm 13 years old you, your name. Alright. Two. I am Radian. I am 60 years old. We are from Isitwarjo, East Java, Indonesia. Okay. My uh, my robotic experience. Uh, I find it very interesting to program a rescue robot because I usually uh, program maze solvers, which requires you to make. Uh, step-by-step uh, -step instructions while in the rescue robot uh, you have to uh, teach the robot to react in certain ways to certain conditions so very challenging for me Ratian robotic experience before studying the cosplay robot rescue program I, I studied underwater and robotic and drone racing auto I am interested in this cosplay because I never joined it in this competition before. I studied with my friends. Summary of pre preliminary Prime challenge. Prime. The mission is to collect as many objects as possible in under 5 minutes. Each object gives you points. Who get the most points wins. Cospace Rescue first step U19. The robot doesn't respond to markers. It often fails to deposit items. It falls into the trap a lot. We make the robot respond to markers. Earlier, we make sure the robot attacks the yellow marker sooner and put the robot into full reverse. We also try to make the robot generate a super object but that fell. We still don't know why the robot failed to deposit. The robot got 180 more points after we fixed the problems. It also responds with better to markers. The mission is to collect as many objects as possible in under 5 minutes. Each object gives you points. Who get the most points wins? We joined the Cosbase Rescue for Steve's U19. At first, the robot doesn't respond to markers. It often fails to deposit items. It falls into the trap a lot. Then, we try to make the robot respond to markers. Earlier, we make sure the robot attacks the yellow marker sooner and put the robot in the full reverse. We also try to make the robot generate a super object, but that failed. After we fix the AI, the robot got 100, 180 more points after we fix the problems. It also respond better to markers. We still don't know why the robot failed to deposit. Okay, uh, analysis. The challenge task analysis. The mission is to collect as many objects as possible in under 5 minutes. Each, each object gives you points. Who get the most points wins. Our strategy is to collect as many objects in the blue special area and also slow down in the special area. We tried generating super objects but that didn't go so well. That failed. We can break down the task into several mini tasks which are uh, moving forward to detect sensors in front. We can divide the area into nine areas so that we can um, select which part of the arena of the area we should, the robot should be slow or fast. We, we can use that for planning purposes. All, all missions can be accomplished by developing mini tasks. 
uh, the rules. Um, when collecting an object, the robot has to stop for three seconds. Red objects uh, gives you 10 points. Cyan objects give you 15 points. And black objects give you 20 points. Objects clearly collected in the blue special area score double in point. This is kind of why we choose this, that strategy earlier. Uh, the robot can hold up to six objects at any given time. Uh, when depositing both color, when depositing objects, both color sensors must sense orange and stop for three seconds. One set of red, cyan, black objects, objects when deposited at the same time, can generate a super object, with, which gives you 90 points. While a set of two red objects, two cyan objects, and two black objects can generate a super object with, with 180 points. Uh, stumbling into the dark blue trap surrounded by yellow warning zones cause all objects collected and all points gained from collecting them to be lost. Uh, resources. To, uh, the resources we used are the Microsoft Robotics Development Studio 4 with the RCAP Co-Space Rescue 2020 platform. The robot is a virtual robot, an artificial intelligence, so that the robot can move randomly following the conditions of the arena. Uh, the advantages of using above tools and resources. The, we don't need to prepare the competition arena, and we don't need to buy a robot or to recharge the battery. Just useful. Uh, the strategy. Um, when collecting an object for when collecting an object, we have to stop for three seconds. Uh, ignore objects when the robot already ha holds its maximum capacity, which is six objects. Uh, and then, when depositing, both color sensors must sense orange and stop for three seconds. Uh, ignore the deposit area when the robot is well empty. Uh, stumbling into the dark blue trap surrounded by blue warning zones cause all objects collected to be lost. So are the points. When both sensors are in the warning zone, or at least like one of them are in the warning zone, uh, the robot will move backwards in full reverse. One to go backwards and turn slightly to the left or right, depending on which sensor. That's, I'm pretty sure, I guess that's our strategy. Yeah, I didn't create this graph. Implementation, I kind of already did that part. Uh, debugging, at first the robot didn't move exactly as we expected. Um, and then we found that the robot was going too fast, which caused it to miss objects, markers, and fall into traps. To solve the issue, first we slowed down the robot, then we increased the RGB sensor values so the robot can detect objects and markers earlier. In conclusion, our robot has moved as, as planned. We use a low speed in location with more points and close to traps, and program differently in location close to the depositing area. If we have to finish the same challenge, we program it based on the robot's location and divide the parts in with a 3x3 three three matrix. So when the robot moves in each segment, it will receive location information, which we can use for planning purposes, as I stated earlier. Uh, my learning experience, well, I have learned robotics for five years now. I usually program line uh, maze solvers. That's a type. So I am new to rescue robots. So far, um, everything's going well. No, no like big issues. Um, I look forward it to learning more about this rescue robot in the iCool challenge. All right. My learning experience before studying the Cospace Robot Rescue program, I studied underwater robotics and drone racing auto. I am interested in this co space because I never joined in this competition before. I studied with my friends.
Okay, so uh, thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye.